Yep, so my name is Julie Alexander. I'm from The Private Coach, so I'm CEO and founder of the Culture Incorporated series. Uh, I've known people directly who were made homeless through no fault of their own, through, um, through marital breakdown, um, an ex-partner. Um, I've also had clients. And it's literally just been one moment, everything's going well, and the next minute that something has has not gone so well and they've ended up on the streets and you know unless we're actually taking action unless we're actually getting out and and trying to understand more about what we can do and raise awareness then things are never going to change so my motivation for coming here is to raise some funds raise some awareness um, and really to to find out how I can really make a difference. Um, we went through a, a really incredible experience yesterday which was to to walk uh, in someone else's shoes and each time I come and do the Vinnie CEO sleep out, so this is my second year, um, I've gained different things. Homelessness just seems to be a, a bit of a trap and, and a frustration. I likened it last night to a game of snakes and ladders that you feel like you're getting somewhere and then you can very quickly slide back down and then go up the next ladder and slide back down and be passed from pillar to post each time. Um, and just so how, fr how frustrating that is. I deal with government departments and I've got all the resources around me and all the support and that is frustrating. So actually being uh, homeless or in a position where you don't have that support around you and it's just you and having to walk hours between different departments and just getting past pillar to post, it must be so demoralising and I can understand why people feel potentially being on the street is easier than just being treated as they are when they are trying to just get some help. You know, the, the, the walk a mile in their shoes was, was really eye-opening. Uh, I had a persona of somebody who, um, you know, had, had, had some alcohol that day. And just the mere fact that they could smell some alcohol in his breath meant he was passed from one pillar to another and then back again. And, and there was just this ping pong thing going on and just, um, just the pure frustration and futility and that you weren't actually treated with that sort of dignity and all he needed was a roof over his head for the night and that was just denied over and over again just through you don't tick a particular box, which was just shocking. Um, I started a lot earlier this year. Uh, last year, my fundraising campaign, um, I literally only joined the CEO Sleep Out about a week in advance. This time I went out to all of my networks, uh, I was, I was um, tweeting regularly, I was on Facebook, I uh, got all my friends back in England who thank you everybody who donated um, so kindly. Um, I offered my services so I work with businesses on culture and transformation so I do coaching and mentoring. I offered those services out and said anybody who wants to be coached or mentored donate, don't care how much it is, could be as much as a cup of coffee. Um, and I did offer people five dollars to sleep with me. That's all it takes. Um, it's the price of a cup of coffee. And if everybody I knew on Facebook or LinkedIn just donated, even a dollar, we would have raised so much money. So I really went out to all my networks um, to try and see and use what resources I had as well. I was, I mean, I love hearing people's stories and that's what really connects all of us is people's own personal stories. Um, and hearing of the struggles and people who are well educated, great backgrounds, uh, anybody can be in this position. They say we're only what, two paychecks away from homelessness at, at, at any time, the amount of debt that we've accumulated in this society. And it can also be, you know, just the way the coping mechanisms that we've got with today's pressures that can just lead to that sort of slippery slope, whether that's more of a dependence on alcohol or there can be domestic violence, those sorts of things. So really just hearing people's stories and, and I was reflecting with some of my colleagues um, earlier, hearing people speak from the heart, that's the thing that really, that, that really translates that message for me. So it was brilliant to hear all the stories last night. Uh, I think oh, I, have, I have a very small understanding. I have a lot more appreciation of what it's like to be on the streets and homeless. Um, and I just want them to know they're not alone. Um, if you reach out, there are people willing to help. 
This is my second time, so uh, it's a little easier this time round. I remember my first time more, this time last year. It was chucking it down with rain, windy as all hell, and um, I was on my own. And I remember when I came and I got my cardboard and I put it down, and I said to them, is it okay, I'll just leave my stuff here? And they said, sure, you can, but it might not be here when you get back. And that was that first inkling of, actually, that's what it would be like on the street. You just don't have permanence. There's no, there's no security. We had people that were looking out for us. Um, and, and I was a lone female on the night. I mean, I was surrounded by 300 men, but I, I, I was on my own. And just that thought of being on the streets without that sense of security and knowing that I had other people around me that were on my side, that would be quite intimidating. Um, and then also being a woman, having to deal with what women would deal with every single day or every month and knowing that I might not have, have the tools that I've currently got at my resources to, to handle that. And those were the things that really struck me is just to how isolating it is, how insecure it is, the safety aspect. And then there's the cold and the wind and the rain and all of those things as well. So um, yeah, it was, it was just mind blowing. Last night, it was an absolute breeze compared to what homeless people have to go through. And especially considering the storms that we've had recently, what, what we had was luxury in comparison to that. So uh, it's a real eye opener. It's a real eye opener. I recommend anybody to, to try and walk a mile in their shoes and to sleep out just one night rough and realize just how easy you have it when you do it. Uh, well, this is the time to really um, show the photos of um, just how great you look the morning after and uh, pull on a few more heartstrings, share a few more stories and, and keep raising those funds. It doesn't stop. It, homelessness does not stop for another person the next day and it doesn't stop for any of us either. So we need to just keep going, um, raise, raise the awareness, uh, work the connections that we've made tonight to really see what can we do collectively to help move this forward and, and make a difference so that there are not 105 or 110,000 homeless next year that we can really slash that number.